Hi, this is a very short video on uh, testing of a product. So we take a prototype vehicle and we put it on a roller test bench. This is a simplistic representation of that. So the car is accelerated and assuming it's a front wheel drive, it will turn the rollers. And the rollers are connected to a meter at the far end, which will read off the speeds of the vehicle. The meter will read the actual speed of the vehicle and the speedometer dial or instrument which is mounted on the dashboard will in fact show a different reading. It is designed to show a higher reading than the actual speed. So if the actual speed is 80 miles per hour, the speedometer will show 85 miles per hour so that the driver has a safety uh, buffer for himself or herself. The other thing to note here is that the rollers enable the car to be driven at maximum speed which is very difficult uh, on a test track or on the road. So the vehicle can be driven at let's say 250 kilometers per hour and so on. The meter here could have many more dials than what's shown here. Uh, here we are just showing a speedometer dial which is measuring the speed accurately. We could have acceleration, torque and many other uh, measurements. The usefulness of the roller is that it resembles the rolling resistance of the tire traveling on an actual road as closely as possible. Of course the tire is going on a flat road in reality and here the tire is rotating between two cylinders. But all that is factored into the design of the roller test bench itself. Performance roller test benches are very accurate. There are also production roller test benches which are used for daily use uh, for just uh, checking speedometer uh, uh, variations and so on. So if we put a driver or a robot into the vehicle and they could follow an accurate driving cycle and by the cycle we mean accelerations, constant speeds, decelerations, idling periods and so on, then we could more consistently measure fuel economy as well as tailpipe emissions. What's not shown in this image is the blower in front of the vehicle, which is used to blow the air matching with the speed of the vehicle so that the cooling of the engine is also simulated as accurately as possible. So that's the short description of the roller test bench. Finally, the vehicle has to be tested on the road. Thank you.